Hi friends, welcome back to Simply Our Home. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. I'm super excited that you decided to drop by. Today is all about adding curb appeal. So in today's video, if you're interested in seeing some budget friendly, easy upgrades that you can use to improve your curb appeal, just keep on watching. So currently our curb appeal is looking lots better than it did. And that is due to putting up some vinyl railing. If you haven't seen that video, I can go ahead and link that up above for you. But I think the first thing to remember when you're creating nice looking curb appeal is to just keep everything nice and clean and tidy. So with that being said, we're just gonna go through. My daughter actually is gonna assist me in this and we're gonna get some of the weeds. There's not too bad. And then our rock edging here has kind of just fallen over. And this here is a barrier for weeds. So you can see that. So I'm hoping to just kind of stack this, make this look much better. Like I said, we just have just a few little weeds growing up. Oh, and look right here. We have a praying mantis. That's a special little find. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now that the weeding is all finished, we're gonna go back in and really clean up our edging. As it rains, it just kind of makes the rocks settle and the mulch gets in there and the rocks are kind of just getting buried. So I go in and I'm just picking them out, turning them over and just elevating that border so that it looks nice and crisp. So here is the progress that we've made so far. Doesn't it already look so much better? Don't mind Scott's girl gloves. He didn't run to run in and get his man gloves. They're a little small. They're a little small for him, but it's fine. Say hi, Nyla. <laughs> Good girl. But like I said, all these little improvements are going to make a big change in your curb appeal. friends while well, we're inside for just a little while it was smoldering hot outside I thought it was melting so we came in got us some water and we're gonna recharge but I think I'm gonna switch gears and go to the next step in creating this curb appeal which is to power wash get everything nice and clean so even though these are budget friendly and fairly easy it's not easy it's hard actually work <laughs> I mean, you have to work at it. You're going to sweat, but in the end, you're going to be so proud of how your house looks. So we'll head out here shortly and begin power washing and just see the transformation that just a little cleaning can do. Okay, so here is our driveway. You can see the last two sections Scott actually got to last year. And then, you know, things happen, you, you have other projects and he didn't get finished. So I think I'll just quickly hit that out there and then just work my way back, getting all of this nice and more like this out here. We'll also do our walks. I'm excited to get this all looking nice and fresh because I think that just makes a huge difference and really does give your home better curb appeal.
as we finish up here for tonight we're going to switch gears tomorrow and we're going to do the number one thing to increase your curb appeal which is to repaint and refresh the color of your front door here is what our front door currently looks like it's very dated with that hunter green so to update it, I'm going with a more modern color. So I want to go ahead and swatch it out here, as you see, just to see how it's going to look with our exterior. Here is the door on the outside. This is what the color swatch looks like on the exterior. I'm just gonna kind of go this way so that I can kind of see how it's gonna look with the brick. And I think it does really great. I think it kind of picks up this darker brick that is in our house so i think it's going to look great it's the urban bronze color which is actually the sherwin williams color of the year for 2021 also our handle and lock here is the antique brass look so i might go ahead and try to take that off and spray paint it like we did on the back if you haven't missed that video i can go ahead and link that up above too and then i also want to paint the shutters To prep the door for paint, I'm going to first use this sanding block to especially sand around where the handles and the door knobs were. I find that there's a lot of oily residue there from the, just the grease in the handle itself. So I'm going to really hit that just quickly and then I'm going to go back in with this method all-purpose cleaner that is also a degreaser. I think that's going to help to just get any of the oil stains from just your fingers and then just from the lock mechanism itself and then just get this nice and prepped before adding the paint. So here is what I'll be using to get the job done today. My favorite brush, which is the Purdy XL Glide. Then I'm also using the Sherwin-Williams in the Urban Bronze color. I'm loving this color. We actually tested it out on our back patio and I think it's going to look beautiful, but it is an exterior acrylic latex paint and we did get it in the satin color. Also, after I have hit all of the indents and detail in the door with a brush, I'm going back in with this foam roller just to give it a very smooth finish. This front door has been on my to-do list for some time now and I don't know why I just didn't get the paint and do it because honestly it took a couple hours on an evening and it made a dramatic difference. So I encourage you if you just already have your paint supplies, your things on hand, you're going to tackle those projects a lot easier. Also, if you're enjoying today's video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And if you haven't already, I hope that you'll subscribe.
So I always love to share an encouraging Bible verse. And I was talking to Elena, my daughter, and asked her if there was any that she would like to share. And so this is the one that she mentioned to me, and it comes from Ephesians 3, 17 through 18. And it say, says, And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all of the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Isn't that just beautiful? And so that is one of Elena's favorites. Now let's go ahead and move on to another project that will add tons of curb appeal and that is updating or adding shutters. Today I'm just going to be taking these down and painting them the same color as our front door. So before we go any farther, I wanted to just go ahead and explain why there's so much dust at the top of our shutters. Well, when we first started, we went around and what, knocked on them, tried to make sure that there wasn't any wasp or bees behind them. And so we thought this one was free of wasps and that one, the one closest here. But we found after like stepping back and just watching, all four of them had wasps. So Scott went and got some seven dust and put that above and sprinkled that on there. And so I've already cleaned up all the wasps that actually died. So I think we're good to go, but that is what you're seeing when you see all this dust. And so already you can see we have a lot of bee hive or something there. So Scott's gonna go ahead and help me with this because I don't want to strip all the screws but as i was doing it the screw head was kind of just spinning in there and that's not good so and i have a baggie here to put all of the screws in so that we don't lose them and so we'll get these down and then i'll set up something in the garage so that we can paint them we actually have 36 shutters in total but for today's video we're only tackling these four to add that budget-friendly curb appeal that we're after. Another tip I have for you if you are going to be removing your shutters and painting them is to label them. Our neighbor actually bring, brought this to our attention that our previous owner had a lot of trouble putting the shutters back up and they weren't matching so at the end he started labeling them to where they went and so we never even thought of that so thank you so much mark our neighbor for giving us that tip we'll definitely be using that and i hope to help you not run into that problem as well So this is the most exciting part for me, which is putting everything back up. So Scott's just going to get all of these shutters put up and then you'll see me come back in after him and do just a touch up or actually paint the 
heads of the screws we thought it would be best to do this because a lot of times when you're drilling them back in you'll scuff off the paint and so this way there won't be any scuffing of the screw heads so we're just going to get this done and then i will show you the total reveal of our home with all of these diy home improvements that are going to really up our curb appeal Okay, friends, here is how all of our projects turned out. I really do think that they added a ton of curb appeal. They are quite easy. That does take some sweat equity, but it, all in all, in the end, it's going to look so much better. If you did enjoy today's video, go ahead, give me a big thumbs up and also share it with somebody who you think might enjoy it. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope that you'll consider it and hit that red subscribe button down below. Make sure to meet me back here next week. I am finally getting around to decorating our front porch so you don't want to miss it. I appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next one. Take care and God bless friends. Bye.